what is this game of life this game of life just like soccer basketball football there are two sides two teams call it good bad call it my team and my opposing team who's on my team let's start with that my team is satya dharma shanti prema ahimsa truth right action it's actually not right action it is dharma dharma is much more than right action dharma means my true nature my true self dharma of a jaggery is uh, sweetness stickiness certain strong pungent flavor to it and it has texture it has taste and when you take away most of those characteristics and you leave behind just white sugar <laughs> it is poisonous now when you bleach the rest of the qualities it becomes harmful that's called dharma shanti peace minor peace minor peace is my responsibility regardless of circumstances outside that's a quality i have prema love that is the underpin underlying beauty of my being everything driven by that ahimsa non-violence not being violent towards my own self my own wishes my own desires my own preferences my own values my own purpose of life don't go against my own purpose of life and who's in the opposing team kaam krodh lobh moh ahankar madmasya lust anger attachment ego pride greed and jealousy i was born with the five human values i came with it <laughs> we joke uh, our kids are now born with a smartphone <laughs> like they're it's like they're six cents they're just constantly being on the phone we were born with the five human values the six enemies we learnt being on this planet earth we observed we experienced by being on this earth the soul doesn't understand no or experience greed and so forth so where is this game of life being played this game of life is being played inside of me and outside of me you might have heard of this uh, old cherokee's uh, story a cherokee a wise person was telling his grandson that inside of us there is this wolf there is a sheep and there is a battle going on the grandson asks the cherokee who will win and the wise cherokee says whoever you feed if you feed the wolf the wolf will win if you feed the sheep the sheep will win it is up to me throughout the day to make a decision what type of thoughts am i thinking what type of feelings am i entertaining what type of actions am i indulging in where do i put my thought energy my heart energy my soul energy my physical energy my time and intentions energy whatever i'm feeding is going to grow is going to manifest what do you want to win which means what do you want to realize what do you want to take place what do you want to manifest and in manifestation it doesn't have to be 100% just remember that like at the end of the game whichever jo palda bhari hoega wohi jeetega bas you just have to be more than 50% on that side just know that if more than 50% of your thoughts are fear based then fear is going to win but look at yourself what are your intentions how what do you feel all day long are your feelings uh in line with what you want to achieve in life what experiences what you want to have or complete opposite of it no it doesn't matter the circumstances the people <laughs> your fears you see that oh i'm afraid of this person i'm afraid of that person those are excuses it's up to me to switch from a negative thought to a positive thought and it's up to me to switch from a negative feeling to a positive feeling 
It's up to me to switch from a negative action to a positive action. It's up to me. It's up to me to switch from doing something with my time right now, from doing what I'm doing to something else that I want to do. Mel Robbins talk about the five second rule. Five, four, three, two, one. Within five seconds, come on, get up. Do what you want to do. And I say five seconds is not even necessary. It's too long. Just snap. Snap out of it. You can. You decide, you do it. I'm responsible for my own life, my own thoughts, my feelings, my actions, the direction of my future. I'm responsible. Forget about what happened in the past. Whatever happened, happened. Whatever happened led to this particular point, the present moment. In the present moment, I decide what I want in the future. Do I want to continue to feed the wolf inside of me or do I want the sheep to win? And when I feed, when I listen to and follow the voice of my heart, which is the voice of God inside of me, what am I telling myself? I love me. And when I'm following the voice of the monkey mind inside of me, what am I telling myself? I don't trust me. I don't love me. I don't value me. I'm afraid of me. I care about other voices other than my own voice. So when that happens, that's going to happen. <laughs> you cannot stop that voice. Our job is not to stop that voice. Our job is to follow the voice of the heart. So when that monkey mind voice is coming and it is becoming overpowering, switch. Snatch that ball away from the monkey mind and pass it on to good thoughts, good feelings, good actions related to my own manifestation, related to what result I want in my life. I'm with you. From now onwards, I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. Just remember that.